we're here on a newfound strength. Mm. And uh, we've been looking at the book of Daniel. So we looked at verse one and two, and we needed to move to verse three and four. And uh, it was, uh, so in verse three and four, pretty much just simply talks about the fact that, you know, it says the king spake unto Ashpenaz, the master of his Enoch's, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel and of the king's seed and of the prince. Children in womb was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge and understanding science, and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace. And womb they might teach the learning and the tongue of Chaldeans. You know, so amongst this was Daniel and his three friends and probably all the people. I mean, what catches my attention here is the fact that they would even use amongst the slaves that they, they caught, you know, they would not just limit themselves to what they had, but they, they looked at the fact that they could use of the slaves. They did not commonize the, their humanness and the potential that's inside of them, you know, and they, even though they had conquered them in one sense, and they, they, they did not see them as useless. They saw them as people that had some potentials they could tap into and even grow to become better than they were, you know? And that's very instructive, you know? And that tells a whole lot on why Nebuchadnezzar was a great king that he was, right? Uh, it, it, it tells of why God allowed him to conquer and, and, and have a great kingdom. And not just that he had a great kingdom, it became the starting point of the uh, end times, All right? No other person did God use as the starting point prophetically of the end times because he was the one that had that image of which he was the head and every other thing flowed from him. You know, that, 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 that brings him out as unique and, and for God to do that, there had to be a reason for God to do that. I mean, God doesn't just do things, 